that the word white and black I think are socially loaded words you know that no one's really white no one's really black this is shades of colors amongst us humans but it's interesting uh, I just want to share with you that in Sri Lanka itself and I've noticed this in some in India too because I visited India that the 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 fairer your skin is, uh, the better it is socially. So if you, you know, if you, if you have a fair skin, that that is something to aspire to. And if you have a darker skin, then it's like kind of it's not looked down upon, but you can see the subtle change in the perception of people. Um, so that's interesting itself that there's that perception built into us you know, uh, socially. I'd always seen my skin as brown, as, as, as a brown skin. And I came to, and it didn't mean anything, whether it was brown or white, it's, it was just brown. That, that was its color, fact. And I remember talking to some, a group of people in um, Australia about 15 years ago, 16 years ago, we were having a chat and I mentioned something about being picked on at the airport by the airport security. So one of the young people in the group said, was that because you're black? Now, I stopped for a second because I had never thought of myself as black. For me, my skin color was brown. Skin color was brown. And it was a really wonderful revelation for me because I actually came to realize that people can actually look at a brown skin and classify it as black. So it's our mental mindset where we can actually turn the whole world into just three races. You have white, you have yellow, and you can have black. That's it. So you put everybody, you know, it's, it's just a sheer form of mental laziness that allows us to do this and empowers us in the process that all the good values are attached to one and all the bad values attached to the other.